Hey everyone, Matt here from Docs Running, and today we're going to do a comparison review of the New Balance Fuel Cell SC Trainer version 2 and the New Balance Fuel Cell SC Trainer version 3. So I was really lucky to get a pair of version 3 on a recent visit to Running Warehouse with a bunch of other awesome people, and there's some videos out there you're going to see really, really soon. I was very surprised at what version 3 had to offer. It is a very interesting shoe. It's kind of more back to the original in terms of being more training focused, whereas the second one was really more the faster up-tempo shoe that has a lot of, of overlap with the SC Elite. So for those of you that have really, really enjoyed this line, the whole point of this review right now is to go, hey, if you like version two, should you get version three? Or if you're even interested in either one of these, which one should you get? So let's start with specs first, which are actually quite similar. Version two is coming in at 9.7 ounces for men's size nine, 7.8 ounces for women's size eight. The newest version runs a little bit lighter at 9.2 ounces for men's size nine, 7.3 ounces for women's size eight. Stack heights are exactly the same. 40 millimeters in the heel, 34 in the forefoot for a six millimeter drop. Both of them have full length fuel cell foam. The compounds are a little bit different and full length carbon fiber plates. And that's about where things end in terms of how similar they are. Starting with the rides first, the fuel cell SC trainer version two has an incredibly bouncy ride. It is not stable for somebody like me. I really enjoyed it more for workouts, tempo runs, some longer intervals. And people that, you know, probably faster me, like a lot of the college kids that have used this and beat me in 5Ks recently, you can race in this too. It's it's a very good faster shoe. And I think it's also a really good racy option for a lot of people that maybe find some of the super racers too aggressive. This is a really great shoe that can definitely pick up the pace. Really nice bounce from heel to toe, no matter where you land. Definitely has that carbon fire plate, but it just transitions really smoothly. Version three is very different. The second I put it on, I'm like, this is a really firm shoe. I, I was very, very surprised, especially compared to two and the one, that this is pretty firm. My suspicion is that I'm collapsing into the plate fairly quickly and I really, really feel the plate, but it takes about 20 miles to get a little bounce. I did not feel a ton of bounce immediately. I will say, Yuana, who I trained with a lot during the run, running warehouse visit, thought they felt bouncy after about the first run and they broke in. I did not get that. It took me 20 miles to go, oh, there's a little bit of bounce here, but <coughs> it's still on the firm end for a shoe with this much stack height. Now, it is still very protective. If you get on the heel, there's definitely a little more of that bounce. You get in the forefoot, definitely just a tad firmer again than I would expect for a shoe of this stack height. It's still very cushioned. It still is bouncy, especially compared to more traditional foams and shoes, but it's just more firmer than I would expect and definitely the firmer riding of the two of them, which also plays into the stability where this one, version two is definitely not a stable shoe. It is very neutral. If you have stability needs, this is not gonna be the best shoe for you. Whereas version three really did very well with the sidewalls are pretty significant on both sides of the shoe and they really filled in the midfoot. So I actually have done very well in version three with the midfoot being more stable, definitely not a stability shoe, but very guided ride from heel to toe and the additional stiffness does make it a little bit more stable compared to the very neutral and bouncy ride of version two. So if you need something a little bit more stable, version three is gonna be better. If you don't want that, version two is gonna be the better of the two shoes. When it comes to the upper, they actually have some slight similarities. The version two is slightly lower volume, fairly normal width with a little taper at the forefoot. Version three actually has a little bit more volume, a little bit more width throughout the rest of the shoe, but the, the forefoot toe box taper is noticeable. It took me a little bit of time to get used to. I'm wearing the opposite one of these on my feet right now. Can I really feel the taper a little bit more on this, this version than this one? So if you need a little more width and a taper doesn't bother you, this one might be a little bit better. But if you just want a little more consistent room, version two is probably gonna be the better option. Both of them have fairly stiff heel counters. They have about the same amount of padding in the rear. So somewhat similar uppers with slight variation depending on how much volume and toe box width you need. In terms of use for the last thing, this is really a training shoe. It can handle some up-tempo miles. It can pick up the pace. But if you really want something that can go faster, that can be a race day shoe, a workout shoe, the trainer version two is definitely gonna be the better choice of the two of these, especially now that it's, ver it's now version two and threes out, you can get these on sale. But if you're like, hey, I just want a, like a super-esque training shoe with a plate that's stiffer and got a really nice rocker. Actually, if you have some like stiffer toe joints, this version's gonna be a really, really good one. This one still has just a teeny bit flexibility as it breaks in not a ton and there's a little bit more toe spring in version two so if you have a stiffer toe version three is going to be better if you just want a super trainer version three is going to be the better option if you want the faster thing they can race version two but both them are solid shoes for extremely different reasons curious to know what your thoughts are below if you've tried version three 
do you agree or disagree with me? Do you feel like it's super soft and bouncy? Do you feel like there's that weird like firmness for how much stack height? Do you agree with me version two? I wanna know your thoughts below as always because I appreciate you contributing. And as always, I hope this stuff helps.